for me, being very authentic, documenting the process, documenting my journey. When you allow them to get to know you, they'll find something in common with you, they will follow you for life. The number one thing I always tell um, agents when they're using Instagram is to only talk to one person. If you're going to win on social media, you're going to be consistent. And if you're consistent long enough, you're going to reinvent yourself over and over and over again. There's a lot of people on social telling you what to do, but they're not telling you how to do it. There's a lot of data and analytics in the back end, and a lot of people can get caught up in that. I'm gonna go live more. You know, I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna 10X my live. How many people liked it? How many people commented? Did it perform well? If it didn't, stop doing that and do something else. I'll tell you what to post if you go and look at your analytics and your insights, and it, it's more of a science, it's not really an art. It's gonna be a very important strategy if you wanna succeed in 2023 on YouTube. On every single thumbnail, add fire. The next group of people that we get to introduce on stage, and we are so excited to be able to do this for you. So let's bring out the next panel. Please join us in welcoming moderator and EXP Realty agent, Levi Lassick, and sure. panelist, Gogo Bethke, Ricky Carruth, Claudia Ann Hib Hibbert, and Amy Gregory. Come on, guys, get up. Okay. It's a blur. All right. Well, I've done a lot of these speaking events lately, and I don't know if I'm nervous or it's just freezing cold in here. Uh, <laughs> Also, does everybody feel like a bunch of cats with the badges around there, you know, like bells ringing all the time? You hear that? Okay, all right, let me get some questions out. Uh, really amazing opportunity to spend some time with these entre uh, entrepreneurs here and social media rock stars. So let's just get started. And let me ask you, uh, Claudienne, what strategy have you seen grow the, your main platform the most? So my main platform is Instagram. And for me, being very authentic, documenting the process, documenting my journey. And so for me, the documentation and being authentic and not really missing anything of my journey has been a strategy that has worked for me. Awesome. Gogo, -Go, how are you today? I am wonderful. Great to see you. Hi, guys. All right, so what's, uh, what's the main strategy that you've seen grown your social media platform? When I lost my front tooth. <laughs> <laughs> honesty, it comes back to the honesty, um, no joke. I got the most followers and the most authentic comments and DMs when I showed you guys I didn't have a front tooth for eight months. So if you can show them the truth and truly that you're vulnerable, that you're not, you're, we are all just the next human, right? And when you allow them to get to know you, they'll find something in common with you, they will follow you for life. Amazing. Amy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, so same question. You know, what strategy have you seen grown your main platform the most? And what's your main platform? My main platform is Instagram, and the number one thing I always tell um, agents when they're using Instagram is to only talk to one person. A lot of times we think, oh, I wanna do every transaction, I wanna work with every buyer, every seller, and that's not really true. I'd say, you don't wanna be Walmart, you wanna be Gucci. Um, I don't have something for everyone at a price they can afford. I target one person, I only talk to one person um, on my platform, and that's given me a really hard high ROI, and then also it allows you to systemize things because you're doing the same transaction again and again and again. Very good. Ricky, my man, how are you? What's up, bud? Good, so what strategy have you seen growing your platform? Hey, first off, I'm happy to be here. It's a true honor. Can you guys make some noise real quick? Woo! That was pretty good. Let's get a little louder. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, it's good to be here. I've been in real estate since 2002. Uh, I've been on social for, since 2017. What's my main platform? I don't know. But let's talk about Instagram for a second and really just social media in general. I think that uh, if you're gonna win on social media, you're gonna be consistent. And if you're consistent long enough, you're gonna reinvent yourself over and over and over again. Um, who I was in 2017 is not who I am now on social. So you're gonna get better as you go. But to give you guys some tactical, um, here lately, I re reinvented myself. And what I realized is that a lot of people out there, number one, you gotta be real, like Gogo says, but the, what I'm realizing is a lot of people on social are telling you what to do, but they're not telling you how to do it. You know, you guys should buy a house. Okay, you guys should be saying, you should buy a house, and here's how you buy a house. You should invest in real estate, here's how. 
right? If you, if you want to reach more agents, you should get more listings, okay? How? So I think the next stage of social media and the internet is more on not just what to do, but how to do it. And if you think in terms like that when you're creating content, I've at least found a lot more engagement when I'm telling people how to do the things that I'm telling them that they should do. Very good. Well, that, I was going to say something very similar, which is no matter how many times I read the story about the tortoise and the hare, the tortoise always wins, and that's slow and steady wins the race. So consistency is very key, and I believe that's really what I've seen. I mean, you can, you know, uh, my specialty is YouTube, and there's a lot of data and analytics in the back end, and a lot of people can get caught up in that. But the reality is, is that it really comes down to consistency. I mean, we've experimented with a lot of different things back and forth, uh, and, and you can do that, but at the same time, it's really just the consistency and making a plan and put that in place and, and really studying and learning the platform. I love to say you can hyper-learn any subject in 60 days, so if you pick that one platform, learn ev everything you can about that, go all in, and you know, become, become a, a student of, of that platform, and I yeah. think you'll do very well. I agree. I like all right, it. so let's go on to the second question here. What is your plan for the rest of the year in this uncertain market. It seems like every other day interest rates are changing and there's just a lot of information out there, uh, some true, some not. And so, uh, you know, people are looking to social media for answers. So what would you implement in your business uh, for the rest of the year? What do you, is there anything you're gonna do differently this year on your social media? And so I like that you said that people are looking for answers. So yeah. one thing I would strongly encourage, which I already do, is to have a call to action. A lot of people are just posting, 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 but you're not telling people what to do or where to go. And so I'm always, click the link in my bio, DM me this, B below, drop some fires. And so for social media, since that's what we're talking about, if I was posting three times, I'm now going to 10 exit and go six times. Um, I'm gonna go live more. You know, I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna 10 X my live. I'm going to tell people more what to do. You just mentioned it, Ricky. So, you know, giving that call to action, and you should really write that down. And I see a lot of people just posting, 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 but there is no call to action. And so making sure I'm intentional on giving people instructions on what to do. So you're ready to buy a house? Well, click the link here, and we're going to show you how. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna, what I'm doing, 10 x in it, just 10 x in it, going to work the smarter way, um, not putting in a lot more work, but working smarter, not harder. Absolutely. That's something we did last year as well. Whenever the market, we saw a big shift, was we doubled down on content. Because we know people are out there looking still to buy and sell homes. Yeah. So, Gogo, is there anything you're going to do differently this year or implement in, uh, on your social media? Well, number one, stop watching the news. I live in my little bubble. I don't really know half the time what's going on in the world. Um, but when you're doing social media, make sure you're not doing it on a personal page, right? So if you're doing social media, that is your business. Just like if cold calling your business or farming or door knocking, take it seriously. Don't do business on a personal page. So when you do it on a business page, you get what's called an algorithm, right? You get to log in and see what happens when I post this. Sometimes you feel like, oh, this is the best post I've ever made, and you have two likes. And you're like, okay, clearly the world's see something different, right? When you have an algorithm, log back every day in the end of the day and see what happens. How many people liked it? How many people commented? Did it perform well? If it didn't, stop doing that and do something else. So social media, when you log in, it will show you everything you need to know and handle it as a business. Very good. So Amy and you, anything you're gonna do differently this year? Oh, I, well, I love a market shift because then I can just double down because market shifts and people quit and it's like, great, I'm positioned to win. I'm going to go and take market share, right? Um, going on what Gogo said though is like, if you are not checking like your data and you're not running like KPIs and keeping track of how many followers and what content is performing the best, you will never find a good rhythm of what to post. Like so often people say, well, I don't know what to post. Instagram will tell you what to post if you go and look at your analytics and your insights, and it, it's more of a science, it's not really an art. So put that in a spreadsheet and you say, oh great, everyone's talking about interest rates, and I can do like what Ricky said and say, well, I can tell you how to like circumvent that or how to make that work for you. Um, and so I think if you're not looking at your insights or analytics at least once a week, um, it'll be hard to gain traction 
on the apps. Very good. Ricky, anything you're going to do differently this year? Not really. Um, I think that, uh, you know, when we see shifts like this, we, I mean, at least I, I feel like people are posting less, honestly. Um, and that's a huge opportunity for market share, right? To increase volume of content, uh, create more, but also get better at your content. Um, I think education is kind of what I've leaned into as the market has shifted. I've started to do more of the, the green screen reels, showing the article in the background, to really try to combat the negativity of the media uh, that's really scaring the consumers. Um, and the consumers don't even realize the facts because it seems like the media doesn't want <laughs> the, the consumers to understand the real facts. I still really haven't seen much of the real actual facts. Like for example, prices are up over the last 60 days. All we hear is prices are down year over year for the first time in 12 years. But prices are up over the last 60, 90 days. Um, and just about every market were positive on the year. That's the kind of stuff we need to be sharing on, on social media, the, the, the real data. Um, and I, I, that's what I'm gonna continue to do is just edu try to educate not only the consumers but the real estate agents to go educate their consumers so that we can continue to spread the, uh, the message that we're, we're in a great market and if you're sitting on the sidelines, that could actually be a big mistake. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, go ahead, clap it up. That's all I had to do? <laughs> <laughs> all right, and if you wanna uh, grow, I think, on YouTube, so make sure you write this down. This is gonna be a very important strategy if you wanna succeed in 2023 on YouTube. On every single thumbnail, add fire. Every thumbnail, yeah, add yes. fire. Fire, hey, yes. An emoji will change your life. <laughs> fire, <laughs> gotta fire, add fire, fire. So, uh, you know, and that's what, just as Ricky said, you're gonna see a lot of negativity out there. Now, the thing is, is that you wanna think about, uh, your thumbnails are very important. I mean, we're visual creatures. You can process an image in seven tenths of a second. When people open up something like YouTube, it's very visual. So thumbnails are going to capture people's attention. That's usually the thumbnail, and then they look at the title and go from there. So I've adopted this and learning from all these greats up here and what really stuck out to me is like Ricky mentioned in the ups and downs of your career, one thing you knew is that people buy and sell homes every single day regardless. Mm -hmm. And so for us, that made me think about keeping our message and our strategy positive uh, and talking about the, the same thing, still going out, still showing people the neighborhoods and the, and the suburbs and also talking about uh, stories of the clients we are helping. You know, just in the last five days, our team put seven deals under contract. So finding out what's the story with each one of those clients? Why did they decide to buy or sell right now? Relay those stories because somebody can relate to that and it may make them feel a little bit more comfortable. And we're seeing right now, I believe, a lot of people are kind of over the interest rate thing, kind of. They're coming out and they're just saying, you know what, I, I see what's still happening. Prices are going up and the savvy ones are still making moves, and people have to move sometimes. Sometimes it's a job transfer or a life change. You know, those occurrences happen every single day. So we've just stayed positive because we want to capture the people that are intentional and they're looking in this current market. So we're coming down to our final minutes here. You wanna to add to that, Ricky? R raise your hand if you're not doing social media. Y'all are lying. Wow. Y'all are the biggest Everyone liars. There's a stat that 10, only 10% 10 of real estate agents are using social media to market their self and to market their listings and so on and so forth. Ricky, right? I think that's the 10%. Oh. <laughs> They're all together. Oh, I, 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 I wanted to say oh, I'm, social I'm media. I'm sorry. Or... Okay, that, that's what it is. I, I can't see. Yeah, I can't so, see. So, yeah, listen. Okay, the, for the 90% of you who aren't using social media, why not? That's the question you need to ask yourself. And it's gonna come from fear of whatever. I don't know what it is, but you gotta understand that this is a marathon. And if you will just start who you are today on social media, if you're making horrible videos, go make a bunch of horrible videos no because they're, they're going to get better. Yeah. You have to do it, you have to start or you will never get to the place where you're making great content. Well, wasn't your first video horrible? Oh my God. Well, mine was I, horrible. I, I, it, it was I, horrible. It, horrible. Horrible. But I think to, the, to your point, one of the great byproducts of posting on social media, so Ricky's recipe is he pulls up an article, he uses it as a green screen, and he like counteracts the article. He gives a varying perspective. So you have to kind of stake your fork in the ground of like, this is my position on this. But the amazing byproduct is, is that 
in doing that, you end up researching the market and you end up understanding it. So then when you're on listing appointments and you're talking to buyers and sellers, you're like, oh, I already know all the data because I went and researched the data and posted it on social media and I've already like staked my position in the ground and it attracts in the people that are like-minded to you, which means your transactions are way more fun. Can I give credit? I brought these bad girls, hopefully they're in the room. If you are eating, if you are eating, Eden probably, right? Sorry if I mispronounced that. Je Jeffrey girls, look at this. Does this look like social media marketing to you? It's not, it looks like physical marketing, right? But guess what they asked you in order to get a free bag? They asked you to follow me, right? So now they got 7,000 followers. I have no idea how much this costed you girls, but it was genius. And I just want you to know that there's a million ways how you can generate audience, right? You can pay for it if you have connections. Like, I, I wanted this bag after I saw everybody walking around with it, right? So find your way, run with it, plaster it every day, everywhere, and have people follow you. Mm -hmm. All right. Give it up for these amazing social media real estate agents. I have Thank fun. You. Did y'all have yeah. fun? All right. We had a good time. There you go. Give it up. That's our Thanks time. Thank you to Levi and to our Grab amazing your camera. panel. Now, everybody, I want to direct your attention to the